All right, so this is how we use the wheel assembly preset. I have a basic wheel model set here, and doesn't really matter the scale. In fact, let me just scale this up a little bit, make it non-uniform size. And now what I'm going to do is go over to the assembly tab. I'm in the animate layout here, and grab under presets the wheel, and drag it and drop it onto the model. Now, you'll notice that if we grab the wheel right now, we move it, what's gonna happen is the wheel itself spins way too fast, all right? So what we need to do is click on the proxy here and we get a control for wheel radius. Now I'm gonna go to the side view just so we can see a little bit more clearly. And I start to scale this up until it as closely matches that wheel as you can get. Now you go back to your wheel item and now you can see as we move it around here let me zoom out a little bit so you can see on all axes if I move it up and down no rotation but as soon as I move it forward and backwards we get the appropriate amount of rotation now the nice thing about that uh, wheel proxy is that is uh, just a null custom or a locator custom drawing uh, so if we go down here you can see locator shapes There's our wheel proxy, and you can see there it is. So if we just turn off solid, it might help you a little bit. So you can see that's not going to draw in your rendering. That's just a, a control to our rig, and now we can move that right around. Pretty cool stuff. And that's all there is to using the wheel assembly preset.